Welcome back everybody to another edition of 2K23 Universe Mode. We are on the Go Home Show, the last episode of SmackDown before the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam. We've got a few things we have to do here tonight, including uh, the final participants for the Money in the Bank ladder match for the men and the women. That's going to be our main event tonight, a mixed tag team match. That's going to be exciting, but right now we're getting things started with Piper Niven and this one right here, Rhea Ripley in one-on-one -on -one action. Rhea Ripley having a date with Shayna Baszler to challenge for the SmackDown Women's World Championship at SummerSlam. Two of the most hard-hitting and badass women we have here on SmackDown going one-on-one -on -one for that championship. Rhea Ripley trying to get some momentum going into SummerSlam with a victory over Piper Niven here tonight. Piper Niven is a, is a big competitor herself. She will not lay down for the likes of Rhea Ripley, but... Rhea Ripley will have to find a way to get a victory here tonight and go through SummerSlam to get, you know, 100% into that match. She cannot afford an injury here tonight, and she wouldn't, cannot underestimate Piper Niven. So Shayna Baszler has to be watching in the back to kind of scout the number one contender for the championship. So here we go. Rhea Ripley in the match, or in the ring, getting ready for the first featured matchup here tonight. All right, here we go. The bell has rung one-on-one -on -one action to start off Friday night SmackDown. And you can see the vicious style of Rhea Ripley on display early on in this match. Well, guys, again, welcome to SmackDown. Again, this is the last show before SummerSlam, the big, biggest party of the summer. It's going to be a hell of a show. Hope you guys are excited as much as I am to even just record it. It's going to be a hell of a show. Most of the championships are on the line, and of course, the two Money in the Bank matches as well. Look at this right now. Piper Niven has got Ripley up in a torture rack, but the long legs of Rhea Ripley hitting that, hitting that top rope. And Niven just working over the arm of the normal contender, but for all we know, Shayna Baszler could have been talking to Piper, uh, Piper Niven before the show and saying to maybe, maybe do a little more and maybe injure Rhea Ripley before the big show on Sunday. And there's arguably strength on display. And down goes Niven on the outside. And of course, we have one more match here tonight. Of course, the main event we were talking about, the the, the mixed tag team match. It's going to be Karrion Cross and Gigi Dolan going against Big E and Asuka. And again, all those participants have a positive record here on SmackDown. So we get an opportunity to get into those Money in the Bank matches. And, you know, something has to give. I mean, they're all positive. I mean, the good thing about the main event is that it's a tag team match. So the person or the tag team that's going to lose that match has no uh, no effect on their singles record. And now look at this. Ripley. Ooh. Going for the trifecta of clotheslines. No. And Ripcord into the drop kick. Very nice by the number one contender. Cover now. By Ripley, one, no. Again, like I was saying, Niven just not gonna stay down for the number one contender. It's gonna be a hell of a match for Ripley here tonight. Just two days away, two nights away from the, the biggest uh, match in her career here on Universe Mode. And now this big splash by Niven stays there. Shoulders are down for Ripley, just a two count. Look at this. 
Niven waiting for her to get back to her feet. Ripley has to watch out. It's like a truck coming at you. Ooh. Scouted it though. One, one step ahead of Niven in that instance there. But look at this. Now trips the leg. And down goes Piper. And now Ripley picks her up into an electric chair drop. Now it goes for the cover. That could be it. All that weight coming down on the face of Niven. No. Ripley continuing the attack. No, no wasted movement. As I say that, she wastes her movement. Oh, look at this. Looking for that. I don't know what she calls that. So I'm going to call this the rip lock from, for right now. The rip lock in tight here. Where is, what's Niven going to do? Niven trying to reach for the ropes. Oh, using that leg strength to... Oh, my God. Well, following that <laughs> crossbody. Here's some of the matches that happened earlier on tonight. Braun Strowman got a victory on one-on-one -on -one action. And uh, the OC getting their first win against the best in the world. Uh, Shane McMahon and Macho Man Randy Savage. Mustafa Ali got a victory against Ashante V. Adonis. Lacey Evans got a win in the women's division over Aliyah. Of course, in one-on-one -on -one action. Then we had the XXXL, T-Bar and Omos, getting a tag team victory over Apollo Crews and Otis. And finally, Scott Hall got a fi <laughs> victory, finally, after so long against R-Truth of the Few Screws Loose. I guess they're not really a Few Screws Loose anymore because they're not even in our universe anymore. It's just R-Truth now. Look at this combination. Oh, nice. By Rhea Ripley, drop, drop down, then a leapfrog. Now, Niven. Oh, she's going to do the same. And, oh, nice hip toss by Niven. And now, what's she going to do? He's like, oh, my God. All that weight bearing down on this, the, the abdomen, the pelvis area of Rhea Ripley. Now, look at this. Niven going up to the top rope. Now, she's going to wait for Ripley to get back to her feet here. Going for, oh, Huge, huge double action. Just crowning Ripley. Now one, two, no. And Ripley gets the shoulder up. This could be a huge upset for Piper Niven. She can get the upset victory over Ripley here tonight. And she's got her up into, oh my God, a Michinoku driver. She might call that the Piper driver. Who knows? Two, no. Ripley somehow getting the shoulder up off of that Piper driver. And now she's going to drag Ripley to maybe the middle of the ring, which she got planned here. Nothing as Ripley tries to get back to her feet, but Niven just trying to continue the offense, but misses. And oh, a shot right to the back. Ripley needs to get back to this match here. And she knows how to do that, that's for sure. She might go for the rip lock once again. Gets her up. The second one of the matchup. Can Niven find a way to get out of it here? Right in the middle of the ring. Niven, what you gonna do? Ripley is corking it. She's, she's putting so much, so much strength into it. Niven, but no, again. Somehow. Use that strength. And now Ripley with another drop kick. That goes for a cover. Is Niven out of it here? One, two, oh, roll break. Well, that was a risky move by Niven because the ref can miss that and can count a three. But oh no, not a third one. A third one by Ripley. And Niven, she has to tap out here. There's no way, in, oh, third time's the charm. And Rhea Ripley is your victor. Here is your winner, Rhea Ripley. So it might have been a little harder than she has expected, but Rhea Ripley is your victor here tonight. And she is looking good going into her championship match come this Sunday against Shayna Baszler. Speaking of, Shayna with a title. Unbelievable. And there she is. At that, wait, wait a minute. That, that music. Uh, I'm below, what? 
That's Candice LeRae! It, Candice LeRae? Uh, she's back here on SmackDown! Well, she she left for a little bit after Payback, and she's back, and... Shayna? Oh, look, oh, she's got a chair! She, I don't think maybe she even cares that she, that Candice LeRae is is out here. She's gonna do more damage to Rhea Ripley, not more contender, but Candice! Well, she helps... Oh, yeah, uh, oh, okay. Well, I, I'm just getting word that this Sunday at SummerSlam, it's it's changed to a triple threat match. Candice LeRae has been added to the match. It's gonna be Shayna Baszler defending her SmackDown Women's World Championship against Rhea Ripley and Candice LeRae. What a huge announcement for this Sunday, a triple threat match for the SmackDown Women's World Championship. Candice LeRae invoking her rematch clause, and she is one of the better, you know, positive uh, records here on SmackDown, so I guess it doesn't really matter if she does the rematch clause, but nevertheless, she did, and it's gonna be a triple threat match. What a change to the card, Whoa, how exciting. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Eric. Representing the Viking Raiders from Valhalla, weighing in at 305 pounds, Ivar! We're moving on here tonight to one-on-one -on -one action against one halves of the respective tag teams. Ivar is going to go one-on-one -on -one with Dolph Ziggler, and Dolph Ziggler uh, is going to be accompanied by Happy Corbin. And these two guys, Dolph Ziggler and Happy Corbin, are the number one contenders for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships, being 2-0 here on SmackDown. So they're going to have their match at uh, SummerSlam for those championships. That Dolph Ziggler... Accompanied by Happy Corbin from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler! So Dolph Ziggler has an opportunity here tonight to try to get some momentum going into their championship match on Sunday. So you gotta think they have a little bit of advantage considering a few weeks ago, Dolph Ziggler and Happy Corbin would attack Monsoor in the backstage area and leave him even just out or starfished in the back courtesy of a hockey stick. And he has been out of action for a few weeks, but last week The Miz started off the show challenging the succession Happy Corbin Dolph Ziggler to the championship match on Sunday and telling them that Monsoor will be back at SummerSlam also. So the, the match has been challenged the match has been accepted and it's going to be a hell of a match of course it's going to be Tornado Tag Team Rules because Tag Team Rules do or regular Tag Teams do suck in this game nevertheless Dolph Ziggler trying to get a little momentum courtesy of Ivar here tonight and Ivar with a clothesline and just like Piper Niven with Rhea Ripley, this match is not going to be easy for Dolph Ziggler. But Dolph, I mean, he has to take it easy because of Sunday, but he also can't, you know, rest easy because of Ivar. He will try to make Dolph Ziggler's life a living hill in this matchup with a spine buster, sit down spine buster. And now, of course, the Viking Raiders also wanted to be in that championship uh, championship uh, rush. They want a, a, another, uh, not another, but they want an opportunity for those tag titles. But for right now, they are 1-0. So if everything was to go the Viking Raiders way, you know, it could be the Viking Raiders challenging the winners of this Sunday to a match down the road. They could be the next number of contenders if they continue their role, that's for sure. But nevertheless, of course, the OC just got a, a victory earlier on tonight, as you saw from those uh, previous matches. Wait a minute! There's a suicide dive by Ivar! And Ivar is absolutely cooking here tonight. So like I was saying, you know, you, you have guys like the OC. You guys, ha you guys have like XXXL, who just got a tag team victory, but they're 1-1. One one. But if they get a victory, they're in positive now. And, of course, you have the Viking Raiders who could be the next challengers for those tag team titles. Nevertheless, that comes after Sunday, but this Sunday, the Succession have an opportunity to get those tag team titles away from 
Miz and Monsoor, but Miz and Monsoor as a tag team have been absolutely unstoppable at 5-0 and zero here on SmackDown. And they are the best tag team on SmackDown. Of course, when the line shine bright, the biggest matches, they shine the brightest. And Monsoor especially, I mean, he has a hell of a moveset. He is probably the shining star of that tag team. Of course, The Miz showing him the ropes of the Hollywood life and you know, it could be paying off. I mean, he is the tag team champion, so there's another close line by Ivar. Let's get back to this match here as Ivar now just working over Dolph Ziggler. And oh, the counter there. Corbin on the outside. Look at this, a chair. And now Diddy T. Ivar just absolutely cooking Dolph Ziggler. Just all he needs a little bit of a breather, talking to Happy Corbin for a little bit. And look at this. Ivar just taking the time to just sit back and relax. It's his match right now. Look at see. Dolph Ziggler. Oh, I think maybe he's a little bit pissed off in this matchup here. He thought it'd be easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl, but no. And another close line. Oh my god. Ziggler gets folded in half and happy. Corbin getting involved. But Ivar with a a, a butt stroke. You heard me. I, I said it. And there's a oh, Russian leg sweep by Ziggler. Ziggler thought maybe he was going to go for suicide dive, but again, he doesn't want to, you know, you know be, he has to be precautioned with a, 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 a injury tonight. He doesn't have to be prone to injury. Oh, my God. He gets busted open. Speaking of injuries, by Ivor from that snake eyes. But a counter there by Ziggler. He has to finish this match quick. He has been busted open. Cursey of that turnbuckle. But Ivar has been making this match hell for Dolph Ziggler. And Ziggler with a with a neck breaker. Has to follow up and no. The face buster by Ivar. And again, Happy Corbin on the apron. Ziggler trying to take advantage here, but Ivar over the crossbody. And Ivar, he could be cooking. He could be. Getting ready to end this match here. Picks him up. No counter. And a shot right to the, to the back there. Ziggler needs to end this match right now. Just clobbers Ivar here. And looks like he's going to go for maybe for that super kick. Ziggler lines up Ivar. And catches him right on the chin. And that could be it. One, two, no. Ivar gets the shoulder up, and I, I mean, Ziggler couldn't believe it, but wait a minute. Going for a zigzag. Oh, he's looking for the exclamation point. Hits the zigzag. Going for one more of the super kick. And that could be it. Ivar, does he have any more left in the tank? Two, three, and Ziggler is your victor here tonight. Here is your winner, Dolph Ziggler! Ziggler gets the victory. Happy Corbin also happy with the outcome. And those are the number one contenders for the tag team titles. They're gonna get their opportunity in two nights time at SummerSlam. Ziggler is your victor here tonight. Will he be the victor come this Sunday in the tag team match? For those tag team championships, the succession, sorry, succession, going against Miz and Monster. But of course, we can't forget about the Intercontinental Championship as Booker T will challenge the champion Santos Escobar one on one on the biggest stage this Sunday for the Intercontinental Championship. Well. It is main event time here on SmackDown. The final match before the SummerSlam pay-per-view this Sunday. The final main event for the weekly shows before SummerSlam. And it's going to be a mixed tag team match. And here comes the first competitor. The ever-intimidating Karrion Cross. And of course... Not flanked by his wife, Scarlet. Of course, the game doesn't allow that. But nevertheless, he's going to be accompanied by Gigi Dolan, who will be his tag team partner here tonight. 
She'll have her own entrance, but nevertheless, Karrion Cross doing it alone here tonight. You won't have that extra insurance at ringside. The Karrion Cross, absolute, just, uh, what do you even say? Intimidating force. Karrion Cross is a three and one record here in SmackDown. A very, very impressive record. You can see just the explosiveness. And he is ready for a fight here tonight. And when he wants something, he will stop at nothing to gain that opportunity. As Karen Cross wants to get into that money in the bank, Big E has to have, you know, he has to, you know, just be a little bit cautious about Karen Cross. You know, he cannot take him lightly. But on the same same edge of that coin, the other side of that coin is that Karen Cross cannot underestimate Big E, a former WWE champion in his own right. I'm looking for that glory once again to become that champion. But here we go. Karen Cross inside the ring, and here is his tag team partner. Here she comes. The Black Rose of SmackDown. And his partner, representing Toxic Attraction from Atlanta, Georgia, Gigi Dolan. The ever toxic Gigi Dolan. She is 1 and 0 oh here on SmackDown, and that's how she got into this matchup. Nevertheless, she has an opportunity to kind of upset Asuka here tonight. If I mean, this is the thing. If Karen Cross defeats Big E, you gotta think that means GD Dolan automatically defeats Asuka. It's such a it's such a weird, weird uh, situation we have here because I mean, you don't necessarily beat the other woman, but I guess it's the same as if Asuka Asuka would defeat GD Dolan, Big E would kind of defeat Karen Cross. It's a very, very sticky situation. And uh, they have to be on their toes here in this matchup. And from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds, Big E! Here comes the fan favorite, Big E. The ever lovingly big marshmallow of a man. But big meaty man himself, Big E. And there he is in all his glory. Could he be the next Mr. Money in the Bank? We'll have to see in this matchup. We await one more competitor for this match. Here comes the ever enigmatic Asuka, one of the most talented and badass women we have here on SmackDown. And you know, it's quite, quite frankly surprised that she hasn't had a championship match like in SmackDown already, in our universe mode already. But the fact is, is that she just recently just got into a positive record. And she was, uh, she was not doing well in our universe mode, but. Thankfully, she got back to a positive record and has an opportunity to get into the Money in the Bank matchup here, right here, and right now. And like I was saying before, these tag teams have to be very selective with their their tags here in this matchup because if Big E wants to get out and tag Asuka, Gigi Dolan is all automatically inside the matchup. Karrion Cross does not have to tag Gigi Dolan in. She's automatically inserted into the matchup. So you have to be selective and ever so... Uh, Timely with your tags here in this matchup. So let's get to this match here. Main event time, Karrion Cross and Big E. 
It's starting off the matchup. And Liz Karen Cross already with a belly to belly suplex. And Big E is not a small man. Karen Cross just suplexing a 285 pound man like he's nothing. And Karen Cross just working over the legs. Of course, you have to think that the bullseye for Big E is those meaty, meaty knees of Big E. Not having any uh, knee pads has to be a bullseye for his his uh, his opponents there. And Big E is going to bring Karen Cross out to the outside and kind of crashing with Gigi, but nevertheless, Karen Cross. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Big E now just taunting Karen Cross as he gets back inside the ring. That's a huge mistake. And there's a Northern Lights suplex from Cross. And there's a tag into Gigi. Now Asuka's in the side this match. As you just heard me saying, it's going to be very timely tags here. I don't know if Karen Cross wanted that tag as Big E was already down. And look at this. Gigi now reversing that neck breaker into her own neck breaker. And now Gigi Dolan bringing her back into an elbow. And Gigi's throwing down some punches. And Gigi just showing off. And now she did tag. Oh. See, that might, that's a very timely tag because Asuka, Asuka was going to just attack Gigi Dolan. But now Big E has to, you know, kind of hastily get into the matchup. And there is a power bomb courtesy of Cross, but no. Big A clutching at his right knee there. It could be a, a little bit of an, an injury. And, oh, of course, can't afford an injury. If Big A just somehow wins but goes into the Money in the Bank match with an injury, that could spell disaster for his career here in our universe mode. And now Big E going to drag Cross to the corner. But of course, he can't tag in Asuka. Because it wouldn't make much sense to go after Karrion Cross, But Gigi Dolan would automatically be tagged in to the matchup. And right now, it's not a problem for Big E. He has no problem laying down the attack, laying down the foot and the kicks to Karrion Cross. Now working over the leg of Karrion Cross, The left leg and the left knee. And that's where I don't think a tag was necessary. Big E had Karrion Cross where he wanted, but he tags in Asuka. But Asuka takes down Gigi, so who knows what I'm saying. Maybe she had a plan to have attack, and it worked perfectly. And a kick right to the small of the back there. And, oh, and now taking to Big E. So Karen Cross thought he might have had a, uh, a breather of sorts, just trying to get back to his apron. But as soon as he does get back on the apron, he has to get back into this match. And now shots in the midsection from Big E. And shot to the midsection of Big E. Now going to go for another power bomb. Oh, over the shoulder power bomb. Big E. Look at this. It's carried up. What's going on here? And oh my God. I don't even know what to call that, but Harry Cross. Yeah, why isn't he covering him? Oh, oh, he's not done with him. He's not done with Big E here. Big E has to be careful. Get straight into the straight jacket. Big E in a lot of trouble here. Asuka, she has to save the matchup. And that's one thing that the women can't do, that the women can't, or sorry, the man can't, is that she can break up a sort of pinfall or submission. And now, sorry, Gigi Dolan. It's back inside the match. Oh my god, a Yakuza kick. And down goes Asuka. And now, just laying down more punches. Gigi has been all over Asuka in this matchup, but now Asuka sweeps the leg. Oh, just a shot right to the back of the head. Right now, Asuka has to do it alone right now. And she might be doing it off the ropes with that hip attack. And she wants Gigi back to her feet. Gonna go for the Oscar lock, maybe. And, oh, turns her around. Goes, maybe hooks it in. Yes, she does. Hooks the legs as well. Carrying Cross, you can see he can do nothing. He can't attack the women in this matchup. Gigi, though, gets out of it. And, oh, an elbow right to the, right to the nose. 
Now Gigi rolls through into the knee, right to the chest or face. I can't remember, I can't even see which one, but it was effective. And now this, oh, octopus lock from Gigi Dolan. But Gigi, oh, Asuka's out of it. A drop to hold sends down Gigi. And now shots to the mix section of Asuka. Now gonna drag her to the corner, but Asuka, now she has some shots of her own. And now look at this. Oh, she has the octopus lock on. Gigi, what's she gonna do? And she gets out of it, and she does the chop toe hold. And now hits her with a hurricane runner to take down the former champ. And now goes over the cover. One, two, no. This match has been incredible. And here comes Karrion Cross and Big E once again. The men have been tagged in. Oh, what a takedown by Big E. Big E now gonna drag Cross to the middle of the ring. Could he go for the big splash here? No. Cross gets back up. And rolls out and Austin gets the tag back in. So that might have been a very tough attack as Cross was trying to get. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. What is this? Oh my god, a double stretch driver. And that could be it for Asuka. No. What a maneuver by Gigi. Now she's going to go up to the top rope. Asuka in trouble. Drops the elbow. Right onto the back of Asuka. And Asuka is, is out, but she tags Karen Cross in. I don't understand this tactic. And then now Big E. Look at this, the power of E. Oh, just sends it down with a grill press. Just working over the chin and neck area of Cross here. And Cross. Oh, here comes the big splash. No. Cross moves out of the way. And now Cross with another suplex. And right now Biggie has no one to attack. He's going to roll out to the... To the bottom, to the, to the ground here, to the floor. Cross, though, going for, oh, a big shoulder tackle. And Cross was not going to let Biggie just roll out to the floor like nothing's going to happen. And now this match spills on the outside. What is this? Cross! He has him up. He has Biggie up and a power bomb onto the apron and swings him around. The ever dangerous cross showing his antics here tonight. Showing his game plan. And now Big E. Oh! Right onto the ground with the grill press slam. Has an A count. And Big E, oh, he could have won like that, but the, the, the man that he is, he does not want to win like that. It might be a little bit stupid, but nevertheless. Cross! Oh! Hits him with a shoulder tackle again, and down goes Big E. Big E. Goes back to his feet. And Cross does not see him. He didn't see him get back into the ring. And oh, just drops him down. And now, oh, belly to belly suplex. And Cross gets out of the way and shot to the midsection. Both guys going back and forth. And a takedown. Big E, what's he playing here now? Big E, he has him right where he wants it, but he's gonna tag in Asuka. Well, I don't, I don't know how smart that is, but nevertheless, the women are back inside, and now Octopus Lock again from Gigi. Asuka, I mean, Big E can't do anything. He just has to go outside to the apron. But Asuka somehow gets out of it once again. And Gigi, oh, gets caught now. Off the ropes goes Gigi. Drop down. No. Oh, gets out of it. This again. Going for that abdominal stretch driver. And for the cover one. Two boot. Biggie can't interrupt it. And GG and Karrion Cross win. Here are your winners. 
Gigi Dolan, and Karrion Cross. Well, Karrion Cross gets the, the the upper hand here as as Gigi Dolan defeats Oscar. Well, those are your last two participants for the Money in the Bank matchup. Well, Gigi Dolan is the last competitor for SmackDown on the women's side. Let's see the final Money in the Bank match. It's going to be Cora Jade, Gigi Dolan, Ronda Rousey, Bianca Belair, China, and Liv Morgan for the women's side. And for the men's side, we have Karrion Cross, Ilya Dragunov, LA Knight, Austin Theory, Kevin Owens, and Tommaso Ciampa. Well, well we were going to have a, a promo here to end off the show, but it looks like Paul Heyman is, is scared. He's he's usually pretty pretty pompous, pretty pretty bold coming out to the ring, but he, he's looking around for something. And well, we have some 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 footage about what happened just earlier on in that matchup. Back backstage, Jimmy Uso got got absolutely planted, and we know the the legs and the feet of who did that. And of course, Jimmy Uso and then Jay Uso in the trainer's room or in the uh, the gym area. Gets taken out by Tyler Bate. So both of the Usos gets taken out. And of course, Tyler Bate is your number one contender for Roman Reigns' World Championship. And they will have a match this Sunday for that said championship. And it looks like Paul Heyman has something to say here. Oh, oh, the, the, legs have, the lights have gone out. And oh, there's Tyler Bate. Tyler Bate is in the ring. And oh, Paul Heyman. He is in the wrong part of town here, and Tyler Bate is absolutely furious. And he wants Roman Reigns. He wants Paul Heyman, and Paul Heyman just absolutely just runs like a scared dog, a tail between his legs. And you tell Tyler Bate is ready for this Sunday for Roman Reigns and for that World Championship matchup. There is the match right there. Guys, That'll be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed SmackDown. I hope you guys will enjoy SummerSlam. And guys, I cannot wait. I hope you guys are. Please subscribe if you already haven't. And you'll be the first ones to watch it. And I'll see you at SummerSlam.